We've all heard Warren Buffett's advice, buy index funds and hold them forever. But what if he had to start over today with $100,000? Would he really play it safe? Or would he rely on the same stock picking skills that made him a legend? Buffett didn't become one of the world's richest people by following the crowd. He's always been a contrarian, spotting opportunities where others would see risks. What would he do differently today? How would he approach building his portfolio in today's market? That's exactly what I'm going to explore in this video. Here's the catch. Forget the passive strategies. I am talking about how he would actively hunt for undervalued businesses, just like he did in his early days. In the end, I will show you a portfolio that Buffett would select today for a $100,000 investment and how this portfolio could grow that investment into a nearly $20 million retirement fund. Warren Buffett didn't start his investing career with billions. He built it from scratch. And much of that success came from his early approach to finding value where others didn't. In his 30s, Buffett was focused on what he called the cigar butt strategy. The idea was simple, find companies that were beaten down but still had a few good puffs of value left. These were often unloved, underappreciated businesses that were trading for less than what they were worth. Now you might be thinking, does this strategy still apply today? Well, not exactly. Over time, Buffett realized that it's not enough to buy companies just because they're cheap. As he famously said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. This shift in philosophy helped him focus on high quality businesses with strong competitive advantages, what he refers to as a moat. In today's market, Buffett's principles from his 30s are still relevant, but the tools have evolved. You don't need to sift through thousands of companies manually like he did. Instead, you can use tools like Seeking Alpha and Stock Analysis to screen for companies to fit Buffett's criteria. Low price to earnings ratios, strong return on equity, and businesses with a durable competitive advantage. For example, when Buffett invested in companies like American Express and Coca-Cola, he was looking for brands with staying power. He wasn't interested in chasing trends or getting rich quickly. His focus was always on the long game, finding businesses that he could hold for decades. So what would Buffett do today with $100,000? He'd likely start by looking for companies that are undervalued, have solid fundamentals, and most importantly, a competitive moat that protects them from competition. As he said, you don't have to be a genius to invest well. You just need a sound framework and the ability to stick to it. Now let's get to the real question. How would Warren Buffett build a portfolio today if he started with just $100,000? The key here is that Buffett wouldn't approach this the way most people do. He wouldn't just throw his money into a bunch of random stocks or follow the hottest trends. Instead, he'd carefully handpick a small number of companies that meet his strict investment criteria. In Buffett's earlier days, he would have spent hours sifting through company reports by hand, trying to identify the right opportunities. But today, we have powerful tools that do a lot of the work for us. Let's walk through how you can use two of the best ones, Seeking Alpha and Stock Analysis. Using Seeking Alpha or Stock Analysis, you can set up filters that mimic Buffett's criteria. Start by looking for companies with low PE ratios, this helps you find stocks that are trading for less than their future earnings might suggest. Buffett's preference is often for companies with a PE ratio under 15, though this varies depending on the industry. High return on equity, or ROE. Buffett loves companies that are efficient with their capital. Look for businesses with an ROE of 15% or higher. Low debt to equity ratio. Strong companies don't rely heavily on debt to finance their operations. Focus on businesses with lower levels of debt relative to their equity. By setting these filters, you'll be able to generate a list of companies that have the potential to deliver strong returns over the long term, much like the ones Buffett looks for. In the end, I will show you a portfolio with these criteria that Buffett would select today for a $100,000 investment and how this portfolio could grow that investment into a nearly $20 million retirement fund. Once you've got a list of potential investments, it's time to dig deeper. Buffett is famous for his research. 
He reads company annual reports, analyzes balance sheets, and looks for consistent profitability over time. You don't have to read 500 pages a day like Buffett does, but using today's tools, you could easily access key financial metrics and company earnings reports. You want to look for companies that have a consistent earnings history and a strong free cash flow. The money left over after a company pays its expenses, which can be used for growth or return to shareholders as dividends. For example, a company like Apple would likely still catch Buffett's eye today. It has a massive competitive moat, strong financials, and continues to produce tons of free cash flow. It's the kind of business that can weather economic storms and continue growing over the long term. Now that you've identified a few companies that meet Buffett's criteria, it's time to put together a portfolio. The key here is to focus on a small number of high quality businesses. Buffett has said, diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you're doing. He's not a fan of holding 50 different stocks. Instead, he believes in focusing on a handful of companies that he understands deeply. For a $100,000 portfolio, you might invest in 5 to 10 companies. Here's an example of how you might allocate your funds based on Buffett's principles. Apple, 30%, Buffett's favorite tech stock. It dominates due to its brand strength and high margins. Amazon, 20%. While not a traditionally big holding for Buffett, Amazon fits into his broader strategy for strong consumer businesses and e-commerce growth. Coca-Cola, 15%, a classic Buffett play, known for brand loyalty and predictable earnings. Visa, 15%, a long-term winner in the financial sector. Visa benefits from increasing digital payments and its wide moat. Procter & Gamble, 10%, a consumer goods powerhouse with reliable cash flow and a strong portfolio of trusted brands. And Costco, 10%. Known for its loyal customer base and predictable earnings, Costco is the perfect fit for long-term value investors. By concentrating your investments in a small number of great businesses, you give yourself the best chance of growing your wealth over the long term. Once you've built your portfolio, the next challenge is to stick with it. Buffett is famous for his patience, having often held stocks for decades. He doesn't panic when the market dips, and he doesn't chase after the next hot trend. As he says, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. When it comes to estimating returns, Warren Buffett is the master of playing the long game. He's never been one to chase quick profits or follow market hype. Instead, he focuses on steady, consistent growth over time. So, how would Buffett estimate the returns from a $100,000 portfolio today? Buffett's approach to returns is grounded in realistic expectations. He often talks about experiencing 6-8% to annual returns from a well-diversified portfolio. But that was back then. If you look at today's market and the stock selection I've done based on Warren Buffett's policy in this video, this portfolio would look something like this. It will have a dividend yield of 0.94%, backed by a dividend growth rate of 7.87%, and most importantly, an average share price appreciation of 18.96%. Let's look at what might happen over 10 years with Buffett's approach assuming the following projections for Buffett's 100K portfolio. If you invested $100,000 today, with an average dividend yield of 0.94% and share price appreciation of 18.96% per year, the power of compounding would dramatically increase your portfolio's value over time. In just one year, your $100,000 investment could grow to approximately $119,000. While this is a solid gain, the real gains happen over the long term. The portfolio could reach $596,000 after 10 years. Fast forward another 10 years, and the portfolio could skyrocket to $3.4 million. This compounding effect underscores why Buffett is such a strong advocate of buying high-quality companies and holding on to them for decades. And like Buffett, if you stick with this strategy for 30 years, at that point, your initial $100,000 investment could grow to a staggering $19,588,000, paying $5,119 annually in dividends. 
Even though these projections are incredibly promising, it's important to remember that the stock market can be volatile and short-term losses are inevitable. But as Buffett famously says, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Staying patient and calm during downturns is key to achieving these long-term gains. Want to retire with a million dollar portfolio at any age? Check the video for the best strategy and portfolio tailored to your 20s, 30s, or 40s.